So in this lecture, uh, I am going to solve a problem that is related to frames and machines. Uh, so uh, you are seeing this frame, and uh, we have to find our forces in the cylinders EF and AD. And notice that uh, the shovel of the uh, shovel of the grain uh, holds a mass uh, that is basically is equal to 1.25 uh, megagram. And uh, you see at point G, uh, force of gravity is also acting. And notice that other joints are being connected. Uh, so let's resolve the forces. Okay, and uh, the forces which are acting uh, on the cylinders EF and AD is basically this. Okay, so uh, let's find the force uh, in the cylinder EF. So uh, these are the forces that are acting on the shovel of the grain. So uh, you see, we can find force EF uh, by applying movement at point H. Uh, but we have a problem that uh, we are not given uh, the perpendicular distance between the points F and H. So we have to find this distance. Uh, so. Uh, so uh, you see, I can uh, I can draw coordinate axis at point E, and uh, the cylinder EF makes an angle of about thirty degrees. So I can draw a triangle. So this is my triangle, and you see that uh, the distance between the points E and H is about one point five meters, and. Uh, D is basically the distance uh, between the points H and F, and we have to find this distance. So um, I can apply sine uh, theta because it is equal to perpendicular hypotenuse. And you see this point D X as perpendicular and 1.5 X as hypotenuse. So uh, we got the distance, which is about 0 0.75 meters. So um, now I can apply movement at point H. So when we uh, when I apply movement at point H, so I get uh, this equation, which says that uh, the mass of the shovel uh, is about 1,250 kg at uh, 9.8. Uh, Newton force is acting downward at point G, and I have a perpendicular distance of about 0 0.5 meter. Uh, you see, um, this is negative because it is moving in clockwise direction. And I have force in the cylinder EF and a perpendicular distance of about 0 0.75 meters. Uh, so I get the force in the cylinder EF, which is, is equal to 8166.6 newtons. So uh, let's try to find the force in the cylinder AD. Um, so these are the forces that are acting. And you see, we can draw coordinate axis at point A. Or we can also draw a projection point C. And we assume that uh, the point A and G are at the same height because, in order to find the force in the cylinder AD, we have to first find uh, the distance between the point A and G. So uh, we can find distance because uh, we have 0 0.25 meter distance between point CD and 0 0.25 distance between points D. And we have 1.5 distance between points EH. And you see that at point C, uh, it makes an angle of about 10 degrees. 
So we can take horizontal component and angle 10 degree plus we have 0 0.5 meter distance. So our collective distance is about 2.469 meter or 2.5 meters. So this shows that uh, uh, this triangle makes an angle of 10 degree at point C. And now I am going to apply movement at point C. So when I apply movement at point C, I get a, uh, this equation, which is a very large equation. So to see when we apply movement at point C, we get force A. Uh, we need vertical component sine and angle 60, which is descending. And it has a particular distance of about 0 0.25. And horizontal component force uh, with angle 10 degree. This is this. And uh, you see it is positive because it is moving in anti clockwise direction. You see this. Uh, it's moving in anti clockwise direction. And we have force AD with its horizontal component force 60. Uh, with a perpendicular distance of about 0 0.25 meters, and uh, we have vertical component sine and angle 10, and it is negative because you see it moves in clockwise direction, and we have negative uh, mass of the shovel, and you see this is the distance between points, you see C and G. And this is the force of gravity. And you see it is negative because it is moving clockwise. So uh, we can take FAD common from these two equations. And when we solve this equation, uh, we get force in cylinder AD, uh, which is, is equal to 158, uh, 101.2 Newton. And uh, we can also write this in kilonewton form, which is 158.1 kilonewton.